know my next guest from Ted Lasso, Atonement, and now Fargo. Please welcome Juno Temple. It's so nice to have you on. What a pleasure. So to love be to have here. you here. Like like everybody here, I'm a big fan of Keely, but it's so nice to meet Juno Temple, <laughs> the person behind the character. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, you were nominated this year at the at the Emmys uh, for your portrayal of Keely. Yeah. Um, uh, you did not win, neither did I. Only the best people lose. Yeah. You know? Something um, to look forward to in the future. Yeah, exactly. Did <laughs> did you enjoy? You guys have fun spending time together because this is maybe the last time the whole cast is all together for you know, for a while at least. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I, I think sadly, as far as I'm aware, it is the last time that we'll be celebrating an Emmy moment like that yes. all together. So it was really important to get to do that, and. Um, and, you know, everyone goes off on their own little adventures and magical journeys and makes different projects, so it's so gorgeous to regroup and hear how everyone's doing. We do have a great WhatsApp chain where we keep each other updated oh, on. Great. on. But sometimes great. there's a lot of it, so you have to be like, wow, oh, my, so many wonderful things happening. So it's nice to see people all together in person. Well, you and uh, uh, the, the, the wonderful Brett Goldstein went out to present. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. <laughs> It's a fantastic outfit. Thank you. Fantastic outfit. And and as part of your introduction, you were talking about, um, you know, the oddest, strangest, the most difficult notes you can get from a director. Mm -hmm. And what do you have the most unusual or the least understandable kind of note that you've gotten from a director? Y yeah, one that I uh, always baffles me is let's go again and just have fun with it. <laughs> so you're like, uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> so, also, depending on the part, that may not be a great note. Like, all right, you're the murderer, you're holding a bloody knife, and you're cackling over the corpse. Just have, have fun, fun with it. it. But also with Keely, you're like, oh, I thought I, I was having fun with it. Right. So what should I be doing instead? <laughs> right. And there's also, there's nothing that makes you feel like having fun more. Than being told to. Yes. <laughs> Mandatory fun is what I say is the only fun worth having. <laughs> I would love if the director said to me, have no fun with it. Make it miserable. Exactly. <laughs> and I'd be so angry that I would just naturally <laughs> around. <laughs> now, you, um, you, something amazing happened to you on the red carpet. Uh, we've got a, a clip here. Tell us what we're about to play. Um, Lenny Kravitz came up to me on the red carpet when I was doing an interview and uh, not not only did he come up to me, he came up to me and introduced himself as Lenny, which I was like, oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then he told me he was a fan of my work. <laughs> and um, I, was, I was completely flustered and flabbergasted that Lenny Kravitz knew who I was and that he wanted to introduce himself to me and thought that he needed to. <laughs> and um, oh. this was pretty major. <laughs> Oh, my God. Hi. How are you? I'm Lenny. I'm good. Juno, pleasure I to meet you. I love your work. Oh, thank you so yes. much. Thank that you. That show, really, so beautiful. Oh, I really appreciate that. Yeah, anyway, I just, I just, you know, I mean, I ran into her interview. Mutual you know, fans here, you know, so but night, really I think cool she's incredible. You. Thank you. Lenny, so, I'm just tripping out the fact that you said, hi, I'm, I'm Lenny. Uh, Brother, we know. I'm tripping out, too. I'm trying to be really cool. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Oh, man, it's... Yeah. That was really cool. <laughs> that, is pretty, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I mean, I don't think you ever get used to anything like that. You no. know, when, when, no. when you meet people that are... Like, I sat behind Jeff Bridges at the, uh, at the Emmys, which, oh, wow. again, I was like, yeah. oh, my gosh. And uh, yeah. uh, things like that just don't get old. I think being in rooms with your, with your heroes is something... People always say you shouldn't meet them. I fully disagree which is also something that happened on Fargo, working with Jennifer Jason Lee. And you should always meet your heroes if you can, because she was amazing. Well, let, let's talk about Fargo, because in the latest season of Fargo, you uh, are acting alongside John Hamm. I am. Who's also... A legendary actor. Kind of stunning, you mm -hmm. know, like... I, I get a little lost in his eyes when I see John Hamm. <laughs> I in, imagine but in Fargo? What? Even in Fargo? Uh, no, no, in person. I was gonna say, in Fargo, you got some weird kinks. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm in show business. Now, uh, so uh, it, it's a pretty different part than Keeley. Mm -hmm. tell, 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 tell the folks, we have a clip here. Tell them what we're about to see. Um, so the clip you're about to see is a moment where um, a monster from Dot's past has caught up with her. She's been running from him and they are having a confrontational moment. Jim. You belong to me. Do you know how crazy you sound? The way you see things, your mind? But do you believe it's the world that's gone mad? <sighs> I have to go. I tell you what, Nadine. I'll promise you, hand to God. I'll promise to let you go just as soon as you beg me to let you stay and mean it. You want a promise? I'll make you a promise. I'm gonna kill you. That's a, that's a different part. It's a different part. And for Joan, too. Yes. Uh, okay, so that's a Minnesota accent. Oh, yeah. You yeah. betcha. <laughs> was that fun? Was that fun? Not initially. Initially, yes. it was, uh, it was um, very complicated because I was also finishing Ted Lasso. So it was sure. a lot and of people. And for that, you have to affect a British accent. Kind of from Essex, isn't it? I'm like, Kaylee's from Essex. <laughs> so we had in my flat Juno, then like Juno's inside thoughts that are quite difficult. And then Keely, and then the beginnings of Dot. So it was, um, yeah, it was a moment in time. I remember my brothers coming over for dinner and I tried the Minnesota on them and they just looked at me and went, how long have you got before you start? <laughs> <laughs> Did that send you into panic? Okay, like, absolutely, yeah. but, but it, then you work harder at it. And when you find that accent, then you don't want to let it go. And I, I, I kind of experimented with it and I like to try it out in public. So I would do it at airports and stuff to see if anybody thought I was being weird or if I got away with it. And if I got away with it, I was like nailing it. Yes. <laughs> I think it's quite- And then there are people out there going, I thought Juno Temple was British. Or I think it would be more, Keeley's from Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> well, Juno, it was lovely to meet you. What Thank a you pleasure. so much for being Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. The latest season of Fargo is streaming on Hulu now. Juno Temple, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by The Last Dinner Party.